with Mark Saunders suspended for Gillingham, Marcus Browning was keen to take full advantage on his first start since December. On the half hour, he went flying right on the edge of the box. Just outside, said ref Steve Baines. And moments later, he had Mike Taylor scrambling to his left as Gillingham enjoyed their best spell of the match. Now, Fulham hadn't won at Priestfield since 1988, but two lightning breakaways before half-time suggested they were in the mood to put the record straight. Lee Clark tested Vince Bartram after Louis Sahara had exploded from midfield, and then the young Frenchman decided to go alone. This time Bartram was beaten, but Sahar was a whisker outside the post. Fulham was starting to turn on the style. Clark had Bartram in trouble again, and then his midfield partner in crime, John Collins, reminded us all of what a class act he is. Fulham, who'd thrown away a lead at Turf Moor on Tuesday, never threatened to do so again. And sub Louis Beaumorti, who'd set up the first, ensured his side would open up a 12-point lead at the top. Gillingham nil, Fulham.